We're starting here with question 10. Questions 1 through uh, 9 are on the Atomic Concepts Part 1 video. So with question 10, this question comes up a lot on Regents Questions, and that's asking you about the um, atomic mass for an element. And notice in this case that they're asking for the setup. Then I don't actually want you to calculate the answer. Um, it shows up again, like I said, whether it shows up here in multiple choice form or on part two of the test. So let's take a look. We need to take into account the different percentages for the different isotopes. So what I always have my kids do is remember that you could make a, essentially a mathematical formula. So atomic mass is equal to, and that would be the um, atomic mass of isotope one times the percent. It shows up in nature divided by 100 plus the next one, which is atomic mass isotope 2 times percent over 100. Okay, and of course there's only the two isotopes. If it was a, an element that had more than two, we would just add the next, and all you're going to do is add them up. Well, let's follow this here with the information that's given. So I have an atomic mass of 34.97. I need to multiply that by my 75.76 divided by 100. I'm going to add to that 36.97. That's times 24.24 .24 divided by 100. Okay, and that would equal the atomic mass for chlorine. When I go down to the choices, I don't see it set up exactly the same way as what I have here. And the reason why I would suggest not just sliding the decimal for the percentages is what if you have an isotope that has a percent in nature that's less than one? I've had students get so confused. So what we need to do with what I have set up is maybe just take it one more step you'll notice that they have all of the masses still intact. So I'm just going to take 34.97 and I'm going to take 75.76 divide by 100 and it's 0.7576 and I would add to that 36.97 and 24.24 divided by 100 is 0.24.24 and lo and behold now my setup is going to match with this let me check it's not it's not the first it's not the second it's actually the third setup or choice three okay let's move on to question 11 according to the modern model of the atom let me move this right the nucleus of an atom is surrounded by one or more. Obviously, the answer here is electrons. Electrons are always on the outside of the nucleus. It's a fact. You need to know it. Question 12, which particle has a mass of approximately one atomic mass unit? Again, something you need to know. Both protons and neutrons have one AMU, so the answer is choice four. Let's keep going for a couple more questions here. Question 13, which conclusion was drawn from the results of the gold foil experiment? That's Rutherford's gold foil experiment. Two conclusions, dense positive center, the atom is mostly empty space, and notice that's why the answer for 13 is choice two. It's a fact, or those are two facts you need to know. Question 14, which electron configuration represents an atom of magnesium in the excited state? Well, look, we're dealing with electron configurations. Electron configurations can be found on the periodic table. The electron configurations found on the periodic table are all for the ground state. So there's two things. One is for magnesium. Since it's an atom of magnesium, we want 12 electrons. So we have, everything has to add up to 12. And the other is that the electron configuration is 282 for the ground state. 
Excited state means one or more electrons have been promoted into a higher energy level. So let's go back to our choices here. We have to find something that adds up to 12. 2 plus 7 plus 3 in choice 1 adds up to 12 and does not match 2, 8, 2. And you know what? It looks like one of the electrons from the second energy level was promoted to the third. So that looks like a good answer which is choice one. Uh, choice two, there are too many electrons when you add them up. Um, choice three is the same as the reference table, that's ground state. We want an excited state, and then choice four, again, too many. So just going over the wrong ones with you. So choice one is the best answer. Check out part three for the remaining questions.